hi viewers welcome today to this nice and fantastic discussion today we are going to discuss physio physiochemical alteration of physiochemical alteration of of petroleum so what do i mean by physiochemical alteration of petroleum physiochemical alter let me look at the word physiochemical this combination of physics and chemical so we are here we're going to look at the physical and chemical means by which petroleum which is found in the reservoir can be altered so to begin with the first physiochemical method which can result in the alteration of petroleum in the reservoir is water water washing now when you look at water washing here how can it alter our petroleum in the reservoir water washing alters petroleum in a way that when you look at meteoric water meteoric water yeah meteoric water means water which comes from space and that is basically rain water which when it falls on the earth surface it can be able to enter into the earth crust through the conduits for example along the fault zones weak, weak, weak bedding planes which are exposed on the earth surface you find that this water can be able to percolate through into the houses in the interior and when water reaches into the earth interior we know that in petroleum we have some soluble elements which are present in in petroleum for example we have benzene The soluble element found in petroleum then the other soluble element is toluene so you find that when this water as this water is percolating or moving into the earth's interior then maybe encounters the reservoir rock if the reservoir is of high sufficient permeability this water will go and wash the lighter these are lighter hydrocarbons because basically when you look at the short aliphatic chains which are containing alcohols and containing alcohols they are those ones are light they can easily be washed away then you look at molecules of petroleum which contain benzene and toluene they are also washed away so there is this process of washing of lighter elements or components of petroleum results into us remaining with heavier heavier components of petroleum Remember now, when you remain with heavier components of petroleum, you have lowered the, you lower the, you have lowered the API gravity of the, of the oil. So in this case, you will make the oil very, the oil has become very dense and very heavy, and so therefore it cannot easily cannot compete well in the market, as you know during the process of. The industrial the, the industrialization process the heavy petroleum is not always desirable because it's very costly in terms of energy whereby they need to first break the long chains into shorter ones before they can generate maybe but they can generate ker like kerosene from it diesel and other components or products which are obtained in the commercial which are important for commercial consumption then the other alteration of petroleum which is really very concerning is biodegradation what do i mean by biodegradation this biodegradation has two words it has bio life degradation which means destruction so here yeah, when you look at for example if our reservoir rock is buried at a shallower depth, say maybe at 80 degrees Celsius into the subsurface, 
and mercury water which is percolating and you know when this mercury water this rain water is percolating through the rocks and going into the reservoir it carries along along with it dissolve oxygen and bacteria from the surface of the earth and because of the bacteria and with, and dissolve oxygen which is carried from the surface of the earth you find that the bacteria goes down into the reservoir and oxidizes oxidizes lighter lighter hydrocarbons Iggy, let us say butane or any other element or you can even say ethane when these lighter elements are oxidized they become removed from the hydrocarbons which are present in the reservoir still when these lighter elements are removed we remain with heavier heavier long chains of hydrocarbons so in this case still we are lowering the api gravity of oil in the in the reservoir and still that's one of the processes that can result in the, the degradation of our oil then the other process is the the asphalt the asphalting of petroleum what does this the asphalting means the asphalting means the precipitation of asphaltins in petroleum precipitation of asphaltins so remember when petroleum is migrating from the source rock to the reservoir and when there is the over maturation of petroleum as it is moving from the source rock to the reservoir remember also as the oil is moving from the source rock to the reservoir rock, on the way along the migration path it will encounter different geothermal gradient and implying that the temperature will not be the same and there will be further thermal cracking to produce lighter oils so when these lighter oils now reach the reservoir they now find a mixture of different oils in the reservoir both asphalt in different compositions of oil for example when light hydrocarbons such as methane is added to our reservoir you find that it will cause precipitation of asphaltins and when asphaltins are precipitated they sink to the bottom of the reservoir and become embedded there then the other process of petroleum degradation is known as thermal cracking when petroleum reaches the reservoir rock when petroleum reaches the reservoir rock it encounters other temperature conditions so the area and light hydrocarbons become further thermocrack so thermocrack here now results into production of more lighter hydrocarbons from the heavier ones now more when more light hydrocarbons are produced now we come up with the oils of higher ap high gravity and these oils are less dense and so therefore they are commercially viable and they can easily they can compete in the market with other oils and they they look at oil based the oils which have higher degree api gravity they are always very expensive compared to the crude oil which have lower degree api gravity so thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for staying with me in this discussion please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking the red button below my video for future videos thank you so much